I know what to do, and I've done it before. 517.8. As you can see, I have gained some weight. Thank you, estrogen. What? What? Uh. I feel like I'm being pranked. These meals are good. Mmm. That tastes homemade. Oh, that's great. Oh my god. Literally tastes like I just made this myself. Jenny Craig food is so good. I cannot get over it. Mmm. I do have a two-year contract with Jenny Craig because that's what I thought I was going to do. And, uh, Obviously, it's not. I'm a mess. In the pit of my gut, my gut was telling me, Amberlynn, this is not the right choice. I looked at Becky and I said, Becky, has your gut ever like truly spoke to you? That my gut actually spoke to me and said, Amberlynn, you need to do Jenny Craig. That gut feeling, I'm very grateful my gut spoke to me. But my gut is telling me, <sighs> my gut, I'm just happy with my gut. I knew it was the wrong choice. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Delicious. Mm. Oh wow. For the win. Oh no, it's just green beans are soft. It smells good. I like tuna. Mm -hmm. That's good. The dill is so prominent. Mm. Oh god. I love that I can eat things like this and lose weight. It's pretty freaking amazing. Well, um, I binged. Woo! Hey guys, so welcome to day five on Jenny Craig. So I know yesterday I overate slash binged and I admitted that to you guys, but the thing is I'm not giving up. Again, when you see food back here, this is Becky's. I know there's a lot of assumptions going on. I do these videos to show you guys what I'm going through and I literally have no reason to lie. It would be very pointless for me to make these videos if I was just standing here lying to you guys. And it's like, why would I admit to binging if I wasn't gonna like be honest? I don't know, that's weird. I mean, what's the point of saying those are Becky's food? You already admitted that you failed the diet, who cares? If you binge on Becky's food or you ordered takeout. Also, not gonna lie, our gore looks mighty cute in that dress and hairstyle, I love it. One thing I do appreciate about this is that she still is trying. Yes, she fails every two days, but she is still doing it. The day that Agor gives up will be very sad. That's what happened in 2019 with the whole shrimp gate situation. She reached highest weight of 574 pounds and totally gave up. So what I'm going to do is, since I daily weigh in, I'm going to show you guys the weights from day one, two, three, four, and today five. The last one you see will be from today. So here it is. 517.8, 515.8. Five eleven point six. So this means that I am losing weight every single day because throughout the day I'm eating really good. I have had successful days and I have had not successful days. One pound for a gore like Amberlynn is nothing. But she once gained 12 pounds from a binge, so I guess you can say that she is improving. Nighttime is where it gets me for sure. That's when I want to do most of my eating. I have to like hold on to that willpower. And that's why I try to save like a few of my meals for more towards the end of the night. And there was another like conspiracy going around that I eat all my food in one sitting. I have to eat six times a day. So I try to space it out between two hours. But I think what I'm gonna try doing is spacing out the first few meals in like two and a half to three hours. So then at night, I only have to space about an hour. That's actually not a bad idea. If the binge monster comes out at night, she can save her favorite meal from Jenny Craig for nighttime, or save the snacks for the time she feels like she has to binge. So anyways, let's get to what I'm eating today. I am having a chocolate dream shake. I'm having a serving of apples. And this is a egg white omelet sandwich type thing. Our goal is out her risking it all by eating eggs every day. Egg white omelet sandwich type thing. Got to love our goal with her iconic lines. 
So from what I could see, there's cheese, there's spinach, and instead of bread, it's literally egg whites, and in the middle, it's sausage, so I'm excited to try this. I'm going to try it without hot sauce, but I woke up today feeling kind of spicy, so I'm also going to try it with hot sauce. Obviously, I'm not going to try this because I tried it in a video before, and I liked it, you know, typical shakes. Yes, a gall is a spicy but dry type of gall. There's also bell pepper in here, now that I can see. That's really good. There's also another rumor going around that I'm like exaggerating that I like the food. Guys, I, it does not taste like diet food. Like, hands down, I wouldn't be making this up. I'm not sponsored, not trying to be sponsored. If I don't like something, I will literally tell you. The only thing that I've been kind of meh about is obviously shakes. I'll give it six and a half out of 10. All the food has literally been tens. And then the creamy herb dressing, I would also give that like a six and a half out of 10. Gore, we know you exaggerate your moans. You don't have to explain it, lol. Also, she can eat pastas, chocolate, burgers on Jenny Craig, so I do believe her when she says it doesn't taste like diet food, which your girl thinks it should taste bad. Okay, you guys, I just woke up from a nap, but it is time for the second meal, which is my first snack. You guys have seen me eat this already <laughs> quite a few times. The thing is, I'm allowed to choose, this is two protein, and I chose chicken lunch meat and the cheese stick. I'm allowed to switch it up. This is a fruit serving, which I choose to have the clementine or the small orange now, but I'm allowed to switch it up. I'm just trying to repeatedly do the same thing just to keep it super simple for now, but eventually I will be choosing like different things. I don't know why this part makes a gall confused. She said it in the last vlog too. I mean, I don't get it. Why does eating the same things make this easier? But if it works for her, we don't care. Hey guys, so it's time for meal three, which means it is lunch. I'm having a huge salad with creamy herb dressing, and tonight I added some slivered red onion, which I'm super excited for. I love onion and salad. Obviously having half of a banana as my serving of fruit. I'm having mixed veggies with meatloaf. So we're gonna try this together. A part of me wants to try something I don't like just to prove to you guys that I'm not faking this, but it's also a good thing that I like everything. Oh, wow. Gaul, the thing is, if you like everything and everything is so delicious, why did you binge? Why wasn't it enough? Okay, you guys, so meal four, which is a snack. I'm having the other half of the banana and a serving of 1% milk. All right, you guys, so it's time for meal five, which is considered my dinner. So we are having a ton of green beans that I cooked on the stove with seasoning and minced garlic. So we're gonna try that together. We're having a tuna dill salad is what it's called with some crackers and some almonds so we're gonna try that as well i'm gonna start off with my green beans they look and smell so good for the win our gall has the weirdest food taste like gall what is that combination okay i know you guys just noticed i don't chew a lot i don't know why but my mom actually does the same thing when she came and visited we both eat fast and we both don't chew much it's something i need to practice doing for sure so let's practice together. Oh no, it's just green beans are soft. Lola, are you trying to say that it's generic? A lot of people eat fast and don't chew, which makes you eat more if I'm not mistaken. So yes, Gaul, let's practice together from now on. Amberlin and Hader's hand in hand together to overcome our Gaul's issues. Okay, let's try the tuna dill situation. I'm low-key kind of like nervous to try this i see onion i'm having a hard time so i see onion i see dill obviously it smells good i like tuna whoa my whole bra's out i'm sorry no gore we don't mind we saw your legendary bra for six years we are just happy to meet the new one mm -hmm. that's good the dill is so prominent i think next time I'm gonna put lettuce underneath it, so it's like a little bit more volume. Okay. Yes, presentation in. Hey, okay, you guys, so it's finally my last meal, which I'm kind of glad, so I can kind of just like stop thinking about food. Um, this is my snack. We have some chicken and lemon cake. So let's let's do this thing. 
That cake looks very good, I can't even like alls. Mmm. Oh god. I love that I can eat things like this and lose weight. It's pretty freaking amazing. That's what I mean. All this food is what her girl likes. Jenny Craig is the one for her. She just needs to have enough full power to really stick to it and lose weight. That might be one of my favorite desserts I've tried so far, but like I've said, like all the food has literally been tens. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Savage comments of the day. She pinches every day and can still lose weight. Just goes to show how out of control her eating really is. Okay, Amber's hair has gotten way better, honestly. Looks clean. Who takes a nap in a velvet lace dress, hanging earrings and a choker? The clock you claimed not to hide from people is now being hidden. You admit to binging, but don't tell or show us what you binged on, and then you want us to not think that you're eating Becky's food. Okay. No one is making up conspiracies about you. Jesus Christ like you're the eighth wonder of the world. The whole I'm so nervous to try this shtick is annoying. It doesn't make you quirky, you're not a 14-year-old girl, stop with this infantilization you're 30. Taste testing a carrot like you've never had one before lol. It would be very pointless for me to make these videos standing here lying to you guys. She's not wrong, considering that for years she's actually been making these videos while sitting down and lying to us.